What's up, YouTube? So today we're going to show you the Xbox original Xbox Live prototype. So the original Xbox console was launched on November 15th, 2001. This console actually came out in 2002. So it's not a precursor to the original Xbox, as my last video was with the Xbox uh, development kit XEDK or 007. But it's, a, it's kind of a cool prototype. This was to test Xbox Live on that came out exactly one year after the launch of this console. So, I'll show you some details of the console. I'll show you the insides because, it's, unfortunately, the warranty was broken on it before my ownership. So I figured, what the hell, I'll show you what's, what's going on inside. And the inside looks exactly like one of these consoles, which is the original Xbox debug kit. And uh, we'll be going into detail a little bit more about both those consoles. So if you've ever been curious about what's inside of one of these, I can show you it with one of these. So on the outside, it looks just like a regular Xbox original console. It's got a decal here, XB DVT to config I or 1, test ID XB2-4. And then someone else named it Hot Stuff 2.2. Um, it's not a very clever name. I, I, don't, I don't think I would name one of my consoles Hot Stuff, but uh, there it is. So on the bottom here, it's got a proto prototype decal, just like the XEDK in my last video did. And as you can see, someone clearly punctured it. And there's the other puncture mark. And I'll turn the camera around here so you can see the information here. And it shows uh, 2002. So it would have been 5-1-2002. Uh, so I'll turn this back around here. And it's got the normal run-of-the-mill right stuff on the bottom of it. And what was kind of cool is that the feet were, like, super glued or adhered to right here in all corners. So I, I think the intention was it was consistently reopened. Um, so I'm, I'm confident that this was probably broken by someone at Microsoft or some kind of testing facility and not just some random hacker. Um, let's see, we'll put this down and I've already undone all the screws so you kind of see what's going on here in the inside and I'll see if I can shake this off with one hand here. Nope, I can't. I don't want to break it. So hold on one second, YouTube. Success. So, uh, if anybody wants to see what the information on the disk drive is, it's uh, Samsung. Let's see, where's the data at? Well, I saw a data on here. Oh, here it is right here. So, April 2002, which makes sense. So, the disk drive was made a month before the console came out. Uh, 8 gigabytes hard drive. You would think that maybe they would up the gigs on a development console, but... Uh, on some of the dev consoles, uh, you had the ability to uh, emulate DVDs so you could communicate your console between your computer, so you didn't really need to have all that much space. You could transfer files over, delete files. It was basically just a, a temporary stop, if you will, on a dev console. So we'll undo all this, and you can see the motherboard. So I'm sure that there's a few people out there dying to see the dev console motherboard. It's just, Like I said, it's the same as the Xbox original development kit or debug console. And there's a difference between those two consoles. The development kit, uh, and if you Google it, it's a clear uh, console. It's actually a little taller than the original Xbox console, like uh, one that looks like this or looks like the debug over there. So we'll lift the disk drive or the hard drive out of here. Be able to... I was able to do that with one hand. That's not not too bad. I'm gaining skill here. And we'll lift this out. I think I've gotten all the screws out. All right, that whole skill thing I lied about. So let's see. Let me get it out here. Nope. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So it's got a little information down here on the, the tag here. And it's the uh, same kind of thing on the outside. Uh, it talks about the kernel and uh, some other information here that I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure exactly what it means. It's got the pinout header here that some people would add to their retail consoles to connect an executor chip. And for those that know a little bit more about these consoles, you can see that this is the MCPX2. And uh, what's significant about that is that the retails had a, a 3. Um, so yeah, so all the debug consoles have the two. Uh, and there's a random H sticker here, which I'm not sure what that means. 
Uh, what's kind of cool too is that it actually has the extra fan port here. So that was kind of cool, uh, but it doesn't have the doesn't have the older heatsink with the fan, but the newer heatsink. So kind of interesting thing because uh, most of the consoles that have these heatsinks had the old or well before these heatsinks came out, there was a smaller heatsink that was kind of lower, had a little fan on it. It was a good design, and um, it connected right here to this port. When they started making these, this port was no longer here. It's just, it's not there on the motherboard. So it's kind of cool that, you know, they they kept it here on this. It's, I don't know, it's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, it's got the regular stuff that you'd see on the, the consoles, you know. Um, nothing that exciting about this, uh, the inside, really. I mean, it's, it's it kind of looks exactly like the rest of all the other consoles do. Um, most people get excited about that chip right there that I mentioned and the, the header and it's got the information on those decals and stuff like that. But nothing exciting like the XEDK with all the LEDs and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so this is, uh, once again, this is a Xbox, uh, Xbox original debug kit that uh, was used for uh, beta testing Xbox Live capability in a test environment. And it was placed inside of a black shell. Um, and in my next video, I will show you the boot up of this console. And in future videos, we'll show you the Xbox Green Debug Kit. You can see right over there. All right. So uh, once again, this is uh, Xbox Surgeon signing out. And uh, try and have a good day. Thanks.